Alrighty folks, so I went ahead and we got our cold root beer right here. So that makes it nice. Got a nice cold root beer. And look, we got some more stuff in. We got a trunk latch right here. And I'm still questioning that this trunk latch was pretty universal between the Chrysler stuff. I don't think it was just a 57, 58 thing. I think it was at, they actually had it from 57 roughly to probably 61, maybe 62, maybe even later. But uh, I know GM used their same trunk latch like in my 67 Chevelle. And the uh, 59 Biscayne is the exact same trunk latch. So they probably used it from, you know, this style. Kind of the same concept latch probably for years and years and years. But obviously the trunk support that bolts, that this sits on and bolts to was obviously different. But I don't think they changed this part. So I just got that. And 25 bucks. 25 bucks i got that and that was shipped to my door and i tell you what you know i'm not afraid to tell y'all how much i paid for that but some of that other stuff i don't know but it's got a part number right on here it said this was nos so you know if those of y'all don't know what nos means it means new old stock it's like buying something that's brand new that was never put on a car that was most of the time put in a box and you know it was never used or anything and then it just typically a lot of people put you know has shelf wear blah 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 talking about shelf wear you know moving it around that kind of deal and uh you know that's typically what nos items are they also have items that are cold um they're called was it original reproduction stock something like that but it's the same thing it's like nos they basically all mean the same thing is it's a brand new item but it's still 70 some years old so anyway so i got the trunk latch and somebody comment on that i'm pretty sure these all stayed the same throughout all the years and that is the part number 1706560 it's got something written on the tag right here like it says Denison Manufacturer Company USA. So it's kind of interesting. Here's the back side of it too. So I picked that up and I did pick up obviously our trunk piece right here. And they're not too bad to find, but they are a little difficult. But not everything is a high 10 on this Plymouth build. There actually is some things that are actually fairly easy easy to find. And that makes it nice. And mechanically, I would say it's much, much easier. It's a lot easier to get one of these cars mechanically right versus getting sheet metal parts like I'm doing. Because I'm going to be bald by the time I'm done with this. Pulling all my hair out. <laughs> but obviously, it's missing the little uh, bow tie piece. And let me grab that real quick. I'll show you kind of an example. I don't have that, but I'll show you an example. And I also want to grab the, ta the uh, trunk latch right here. Can't talk. I'm just so excited. But I like drinking root beer. So much better than a glass bottle. All right, so I got a few things here that I want to show. And so we got our trunk limbum. And uh, we got our actual emblem, just as an example here. It's the same emblem that goes right here, but obviously it does not have the backing plate on it. And obviously the emblem there, cross, whatever. I'm not sure what the proper name is for that. Obviously it's a lot smaller. That's about like that size. But that's what all that is. And it's the same thing. It's just you know, smaller. That's what goes right there. And the trunk latch right here, this is what the trunk latch looks like. That's the three screws for it. And it's got the special star washers on the back. And then also we got our better regular uh, star wheel right here. This is how it locks and all. But very simple design. Ford kind of used that same design on their uh, door latches as well. That's what has that same design. But this is supposed to be designed here so that I believe it 
goes through just like this and that's what latches. Look at our trunk lid, make sure we got this in the correct position. Like the front of the car would be facing that way, so let's look at our trunk lid. I don't think I showed this. I don't think. Let me look at our trunk lid. I had to work on this. I'm gonna cut that off. Gonna, yeah. I'm kind of not too happy about that right now. <laughs> Alright, so we have the trunk latch. And then, okay, so yeah, there's the pattern. So we got two bolts there. Then we have one at the end. So, okay. So it would go just like this. So that would be facing the front of the car would be facing this way and our trunk latch would go just like this and then it locks on this latch just like that and it will not go nowhere then if you would turn the key and that's what actuates this that's what pushes this in this will fall I have to oil it up just a little bit. Yeah. Because that allows this star wheel to rotate to let it open. So, I wanted to show that. And, no, I'm not being rough on this stuff. It's not going to hurt it. I wouldn't sit there and, you know, not trying to tear stuff up. But, this is our beautiful, and I know y'all want me to do this. This is our beautiful, I say beautiful, and it's beautiful. This is our beautiful trunk emblem, and I will find that little piece down there. I hope I can find one, but that goes just like that, and then we have the lock that goes underneath, and that's really all it is to it. So let me get the lock, and I'll show you what we're talking about. This trunk used to have this piece. I showed that in a previous video. So obviously, to install your lock cylinder, watch me be installing this backwards here, hopefully not. But, no, I don't think so. But, your lock cylinder will install just like this. Correct me if I'm wrong, watch me putting this in backwards here. I don't think it is dummy proof. Sometimes these are more narrow, so it's keyed one way, so this would only go in one position. You can't put it either this way or this way, so it's really a 50-50 shot. Actually, I believe it might go like this. Yeah, I was wrong. That makes more sense. So, because if we look, our latch is closer to this side, so it can't be like that, because then it's not going to work, so. All right. Just like this, point it to the left. So I make mistakes too, I ain't afraid to show them. That goes like that. And then this would line up in the center. And obviously, we would have that little kind of the grill emblem, looks like that, but it's a trunk limb, just smaller. That goes on right there. And I know it's, you know, it's not sitting flush because I gotta re drill the holes back out. And some of the uh, pins are broke off, unfortunately. And be kind of careful with this. And some of the holes are broke off. We only have two pins remaining. We got one right here, sadly. And then we come over and we have another one right here. So this one's broke off. That one's broke off. And then have one broke off right here it looks like as well so i was counting six holes on her trunk lid so one two three four five that would be six so yeah it looks correct so it should work interesting okay okay i know i know these this thought is going through the back of people's minds can i do this yeah i know exactly what you're thinking i know exactly what you're thinking even my snooze no i'm not goofing around 
I wanted to see something to see this too. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, you know what I'm thinking. Huh, it might actually work. Does it look right? <laughs> Can't tell what it looks like. Oh man, that's some horrible camera work. Look at that. I know. I'm not the only one to think of that. That's probably a sitter up better. <laughs> I ain't the only one to think of that, I'm sure, but I don't know, it looks, I kind of goofy looking, but I don't know. Anyway, so that's enough goofing around. Yeah, I kind of was goofing around a little bit, but I always wanted to do that. I thought about that, but I'm sure you could do it, but uh, if it was sit on the hood better, I would do it. And then... You could go right Plymouth in the middle of it. That would be cool. But anyway, there's the trunk latch and the uh, not the trunk latch, our trunk emblem in our lock cylinder. Make sure you got it positioned in the right way. Otherwise, when you go to put your key in, you won't be able to open your trunk lid. So make sure it's facing like that. So. And that is the clip as well, so. I figured I'd make this little video, not a whole lot to show, but. It's pretty interesting. But that's how that latch goes in there. So our beautiful piece down, here's a lock cylinder. Look, we're getting everything there. That's crazy. And then this, that's how you verify too. I just verified on camera. This is the correct piece. And the one right here, so you got two on the bottom, one on the top. It faces the front of the car right there, that direction. And I don't think it matters if you're wondering which direction this goes. I don't think that matters. Obviously it matters, you know, if it goes like that, you know, but it goes like this. Just like that, but I don't think it matters, you know, which way this is turned. Belvedere 1958 might know, but I don't think it does, personally. Because all it is is those little star wheel just grabs onto right there. I don't think it matters because you do have both tangs on both sides. So, pretty sure it doesn't matter, so... verify this again it's hard to do this it will work see I gotta oil this up so all right I'm gonna set this down so y'all can see I gotta prove it to y'all we'll end the video yeah, I ain't got 20 hands okay so hopefully y'all could see I'm sorry about the camera work. I know it's kind of crappy. But. So we got our latch. Y'all see this. We got our latch. And this is our star wheel. And then it goes through just like that. And it will not come out. And then if we push the piece right back here. It should be free and come right back apart. So, it should be pretty good. Maybe I should show that over here. I know you're looking at a stump. One more time. So, again, again. All right, I'm going to hold it like here. Make sure facing the right direction. It can only bolt one way in the trunk lid. And it goes right through. Let me hold it like this. You 
just to hold this down. It goes right on there. Now I would think too you shouldn't have to you shouldn't have to do that. Because actually that's only the function of the key is to push that so that it comes apart. It should go in there without me touching that, so because when you close the trunk lid, yep, and it does. So both both functions work, and you heard it lock. And then if we were to take our key and pretend in my fingers my key, it opens. Now if you shut it like you're pushing the trunk latch shut, I'm not touching that. It should lock again. And it does. It wants to. It's just old. There we go. So awesome. Awesome, awesome. It just needs to hold up. So it works both ways. Awesome. All right, I will see y'all later. And I know the video ain't the greatest, but hopefully it gets the point across. And you get yourself a nice cold glass root beer. And sit back and watch more Plymouth videos coming up.